Okay, so the first problem that shows up when you're building this is that the transistor on the high side, right? We know that to turn a transistor fully off, the base and emitter have to be zero volts, right? So in order to do that, our high side transistor's emitter is at 12 volt. So that means our base also has to be at 12 volt. So my logic supply for my Arduino is only five volt. So it can't match the 12 volts, which means that we can't fully turn off this transistor. So the way around this is to use a gate driver, a dedicated gate driver. And this can take your low level input like five volt and boost it all the way to 12 volt. There's also another problem with that because the gate driver doesn't actually boost it all the way to your supply voltage. So my supply voltage in this video was eight volt, okay? And so my gate driver would supply like 7.3 volt, which is another problem because then we're gonna talk about pull up and pull down transistors. Which brings us on to problem number two. What happens when you can't bring the voltage all the way to zero and you can't supply voltage all the way up to supply voltage? Well, it causes something called shoot through. So since the gate driver can't actually provide the base of the, NP, the high side transistor with the supply voltage to match the emitter so that it can fully turn off, the high side transistor doesn't actually fully turn off. And what you have is now you have your low side transistor that's on, your high side transistor that's on, and then you create a short circuit. Unfortunately, I don't have a video of me doing this, but I short circuited all my BJTs at the start. They all got super duper hot. I burnt myself a couple of times, um, and that's because of shoot through. So to fix the uh, partial shoot through on the high and low side, for the low side, so as you can see, uh, this right here is my high side, and this right here is my low side. And we have this big 10K ohm tr uh, resistor connecting the base to the emitter to bring the voltage up. And then we have this uh, small 100 ohm resistor to pull the base uh, to ground to match that voltage there. And then we got on all three of them. And so that's how you fix the, the, the problem of partial shoot through. Okay, so on to problem number three, which is burning through resistors. And I burnt through quite a lot of them. So in order to saturate your transistors, um, you need to be operating them with a gain of about 10 to 20. So your collector to emitter is going to be 10 to 20 times your base current. Now my motor operates on 600 milliamps, um, no load current. Okay, so that means my base current would have to be 60 milliamps, right? 10 times less. Now to be safe, I was operating it at 80 milliamps to, to really fully saturate it. And so when you have 80 milliamps, to, to, in order to get 80 milliamps, I was using a 100 watt resistor with eight volts. Um, and so this dissipated a lot of heat through the resistors, okay? And uh, to be quite certain, um, the resistors were dissipating um, 0.64 watts of power. Now these little blue, uh, these stock standard uh, resistors that everyone has can only dissipate 0.25, that's the standard, right? And this was smoking, so I thought something's wrong. And so then I jumped to the store and got one watt resistors and now it operates really comfortable no, they don't heat up like crazy. It's well within their range. So like I have a good ceiling. And so once I fixed that up, everything was good and no more burning through resistors. So that's just something to keep in mind. Okay, now the fourth and final problem uh, that I faced was the startup current. The startup current would eat through everything. Right, startup current, I was getting like 1.2 amps on startup with the locked rotor. 
And my transistors are only rated for 800 milliamps. At least that was the biggest transistor I could get at my local uh, store. And so it would burn through the transistors because, you know, 1.2 amps, they get insanely hot, right? And so I had to add these big um, 10 watt, oh, these big um, 10 ohm uh, 5 watt resistors to limit the current on startup to 600 milliamps. And so now the motor runs fine on startup and that actually limits the total current draw from my supply. Now, I don't think this is a ESC related problem because I'm pretty sure there's a way around this or this was just user error, but that's how I found I got my motor to run safely uh, while experimenting with all a bunch of different things. And so I think with that, they're all the problems I faced. Okay, so power on. And it starts rotating. I think this is at the lowest setting. I'm gonna use our trusty old knob here. So that is because it locks rotor because it's not censored. Yeah. So we go too fast. So the red line would probably be just before it stops. So right about there would be sort of red line. And that's at, that is right at uh, 600 milliamp. Any more than that, and then it just loses it. It's too much slip. But yeah, so this was the, if I get this, this was the resistors I was talking about. These are the PNP transistors. These are the big one watt uh, base resistors. And right here is the gate drivers and the Arduino. And that is a big, so it looks like a big circuit.